Hello and welcome to the next episode of Polo Versus. Polo? Say that again. Polo Versus. A-R-T-H-E-R. You've been watching Rocky or something? Okay, yeah. Hello and welcome to the next Polly Versus, where I'll be... Sorry, right, about Atkins. Is it John Owen Polo? Hello and welcome to the next episode of Polo Versus. Oh, I've done it again. Hello and welcome to the next episode of Polly Versus. And today we're at Willowbrook Fishery in Northamptonshire on Rice and Lake. And we're not fishing this trout lake behind us. You can see some guys are trout fishing over there, but we're not fishing for trout. Um, it's against John Arthur. I've not fished here before. I'm sure he hasn't fished here before, but um, who knows? Mm. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand, oh I've been running from the law, hope they won't shoot me down soon. This is the beautiful rice and lake behind us. Um, I have actually been here before, but it was about seven or eight years ago. I never actually fished. I just shot a feature with Steve Ringer and we just sat in the corner fishing for tench. And I can't even remember how many you caught or, or anything really. So to be honest, I don't even know how deep it is or anything. So it's, um, I thought it'd be a nice venue for the two of us. Uh, not, not a commercial and not, uh, not, not a natural still water as such, but um, catching some nice bream and tench. So, uh, but then I thought last night, I says, why on earth have I took on one of the best natural water anglers in the country on a venue like this? So, because uh, everyone knows Polly's good at this sort of game, but um, hopefully, hopefully, uh, I can show him a thing or two. So uh, I think I'm going to treat it a bit like Porth Reservoir, other than the fact that there's tench as well to catch in here. And uh, I seem to do all right at Porth, so um, we'll see. But... Um, I don't know if it'd be natural baits or uh, fish meal baits or anything like that. Um, it's a real sort of suck it and see for both of us, I think. So, but uh, we're going to have a laugh and uh, hopefully I can smash him up as well. Well, as you can see, Rice and Lake behind me, where I'll be fishing against Johnny Arthur. Um, I've not fished it before. He tells me he hasn't fished it before, but I know he's been here practicing with Ringer. So hopefully I'll give him a lump of his own medicine and show him how to fish it. Right, we're going to do the draw now. We've got two of our EVA discs and we're fishing pegs 28, what we're standing on, and 27. And whoever draws the lime one, I think John's going to hold it up so I draw, gets the choice of pegs. So, where do you want to go? Oh, on this one. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, well, let's see It looks see much then. nicer, this peg. Let's hope I draw the lime one. He's going to hold them up so I can't even reach it. Come on, got the cut that, right. The line's the rough one, that's it. Oh, I've got hey! the blue one. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So where are you going, John? I still fancy this one. Well, you've got to choose now. Yeah, I'm going to have this peg. Which well, is that's nice. I've got 27, and I haven't got lilies in front of me. Nice, clear bit to net the fish, which... <laughs> Nice one, John. <laughs> <laughs> I've got plenty of lengths. Well, let's get fishing. Lovely balls. Simply, simply lovely. Okay, we're all set up. I'm just about to shout time. We're going to fish two hours, then have a weigh in, and then fish another two hours, and it's over total weight over the four hours. So, you ready, John? Uh, just about. <laughs> right, all in. All in. We've been fishing about 10 minutes now. Um, I've set up a 4x16 rig just over the lilies down there. Got about seven foot. Hope for potential of some bream moving because it's not, there's odd carp in here. So it's more bream and tench we're fishing for. I've got a rig set out 4x16s at 30 metres. Both them lines I've cupped in. Some dampened Hinders 2.3 mil micros. And I've mixed up half a bag of supercharged margin mix and supercharged method mix. It gives a lighter green colour. I love that sort of mix. It's got a bit of salmon fry in it. And I've put three or four balls on both lines at 30 metres and on the near side line. And I'm using the same mix just with the dampened micros through a little cage feeder first of all chucked to like a, I say it's a floating pontoon out there. There's poles going down. So there's obviously features down there, but you can't chuck past them. There's a rope running between them. I'm just starting on a cage there. I tried airy corn. I had one little knock on a pellet and caught a bit of line. But I'm going to fish that for about 20 minutes to get a bit of bait out there and then maybe change to a, a method. And just see how it goes. The wind's getting up now, although it's not raining, which is good. I don't know if John's caught yet. I've not seen him catch, but like I say, I've only been going 10 minutes. So hopefully I can get a couple of signs, maybe nick a fish on this. But I've got to give it 20 minutes, put a bit of food there before I have a look on one of the pole lines. But having a couple of quick indications, you know, there's obviously a couple of fish out there, but what, I don't know. 
So hopefully, we'll put something in the net soon. I'm not leaving it too long, I'm only leaving it probably three minutes to get the bait in, first of all. Because the worst thing is just cast out there one lot of feed, sit on it, and then there's some fish that do come in, there's not enough feed there to keep them. And I haven't emptied the feed, I just want to go plodle it just slowly and just putting a bit of bait out there. Just had a skimmer and that had it instantly as well. Just been swapping between uh, a traditional method feeder and an open alloy feeder. Not sure what's going to be best today. And um, I've missed a bite on a washer, a five mil washer. I've just gone in with three dead red maggots and it's had it instantly. So, but I'm going to swap between soft and hard hook baits, depending on what the small fish activity is out there. And then I've got a short pole line, top two and two, where I put one ball of ground bait and some soft, and I'm going to keep loose feeding casters over there quite heavily. I want to keep the fish on the bottom though, so two bursts and then leaving it. I've got a feeling, although we've not caught anything to towel, but I think there's a lot of small fish in here, so I don't want to feed too little and too often. And then I've got a long line at 14 metres. Debating whether to fish 13 or 14, but I can hold the pole at 14. It creates a bit of separation between the two lines. And I've put four balls in there and one loose cup. Again, with chopped worm caster, a few dead reds. Um, I've gone for an out and out fish meal mix, a dynamite milled expander. Um, F1 Sweet Black and a bit of Green Swim Stim because it's quite a clear venue and it's a traditional venue. I've gone for a, a dark mix. Always think green or dark are the way to go if you're never quite sure. And I think because we've had all that rain, I think it's just going to be a little bit of an iffy start, I think. Right, so far it's been a, a slow start, but um, I've got three skimmers, 
one of them might be a bream, I suppose, and a, and a nice tench. Um, but the peg's absolutely full of tiny fish, tiny little perch, tiny little rud. And it's job to know how to feed to get a bait down to them at the moment. Um, I've tried worm and I see, keep catching a uh, little perch and rud, uh, two and three casters. I've tried a six mil expander and I just keep getting little tiny rud bites on that. Um, I've just put a bit of corn in just to see if that's going to bring any better fish in. That's, so it just needs something a bit more selective at the moment because um, there just seems to be rafts of tiny little fish. Um, I'm not sh quite sure how that tench I caught actually got to got to the bait with the amount of little fish there were about. So uh, like I'm feeding casters heavily to my right and I've gone f just pellets and, and uh, corn now to my left. I've deliberately gone and meet a past the, these pads because if I hook one I need to give myself a bit of a head start trying to bully it, just trying to stop it getting in the pads like the last one did. So uh, just reminds me of fishing on the River Avon and places like that for big eels and tench and stuff where you just got to hit them and hoist the pole up high and hope for the best. There's none of this shipping them back to a top kit and playing them on a side puller when you've got this much uh, lilies and snags and that on the inside. Which is another reason on the feeder, I'm going to chuck the feeder again in a minute because this is a bit a lot slower than I thought. So the feeder I've gone for an 11 foot 10 uh, XS slim as well, rather than my favourite 1010, purely because of the amount of uh, snags on the inside. Just that extra length will hopefully um, keep the fish away from them. So that's where uh, we are at the moment. I'm, 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 well, I'm doing okay, but um, I think it's slow for both of us really. three quarters of the way through the first session um, I've fished a traditional feeder um, I've lost a skimmer um, and John's fished a method feeder I just feel it's the wrong method because John's caught a lot more than me I fished what I was told the information I'd got um, I feel it was wrong but uh, I've just had a nice skimmer on the pole so hopefully I can catch up and do the business on the pole stop now sun's come out it's nice and bright that's just the two hour mark so I think it's time we weigh the first session in that's it John Is that it yeah well we're halfway through it looks like it's gonna rain again um, it's been very slow for me John's had more fish than me so we'll bring them up John will bring his fish up first we'll weigh him then we'll weigh me and then we'll battle on for the next two hours Hold on, hold on. 
Cool. <laughs> I don't know how that didn't get in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smash me, John. What we got? Four, 14 six. Well done, John. Back tench, isn't lovely it? Tench. That's five pounds. Really beautiful fish. Lovely fish. Just not quite enough of them at the moment. Oh, more than enough. Right, I'm going to get my fish. John's had £14.6, brilliant weight, much more than what I've got, but I better weigh mine, else uh, I won't live it down. Right. We're giving him the long walk, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> you want to you get a stitch first? going to your net and back. <laughs> oh, get some pellets in there, why don't you? Look at all these pellets he's trying to weigh in. Oh, look at that. Oh, Lovely me. catch. Essex, Essex counter trick. Oh, two, three. Two, three. I thought they weighed more than that, to be honest. Oh, well. Not complaining. Look at that lovely fish. Right, well done, John. 14, six to my two pound three. So I am 12, 12 pound three behind. Yeah, which is one tench. three tench. One tench. <laughs> yeah, three the tench. Count, some big skimmers. pike in there. Yeah. So. Or some skimmers. I mean, I've caught. Yeah. That one skimmer at the end, and then one come off. You've just started to get some bites on uh, that long pole, haven't you? On yeah, the pellet, so, so uh, we just don't know. Uh, there's definitely fish in my peg now. I seem to be able to get my rig down now, yeah. whereas we, we haven't been able to most of the day oh. because of the but, tiny little rudd and tiny well, that's been very hard, very few mm. bites. A lot harder than, than we yeah. expected, but I just think a week-long period With of rain, rain. Has, has just yeah. knocked it a yeah. little bit. I think they're definitely there. Yeah, and here comes the rain again. Right, <laughs> let's get back to the pigs. Then, Mark. Another two hours. See you in a bit. We started off the second half and uh, it's definitely fishing better already. Both of us have got two decent skimmers apiece. I've also had a small one taken by a pike, about seven or eight pounds. Uh, unfortunately, it took the skimmer, and I, but it didn't take my hook, so that was a bonus. Um, the small fish just seem to have come back into my peg a little bit again now, but um, it just does definitely feel a little bit fishier now as if we're gonna both catch a few fish now time of day and everything the weather's nice it's flat calm now but it just just looks nice now it just feels a little bit warmer and I think we're gonna catch a few fish <laughs>
Well, we started the second section. I've clawed a bit of the lead back. I think I caught four or five bream very quick. Um, but John's just had three, virtually in three puts, but good bream. It looked like four or five pounds, so that's um, stopped my little lead again. So I would have thought this next session, John's ahead again. But i um, got 20 minutes left. There ain't enough tension or enough tench feeding is the main fish I was hoping to catch in with the skimmer, so it's been a hard day, so I, I can't see me catching up, but you never know in fishing. A couple of bonus fish, but I've pulled out of a couple, but that still wouldn't have made any difference, so we've had the rain, now we've got the wind. So give it the best shot last 20 minutes and see if I can put a few more in the net. That's it, all out. <sighs> a funny old day. Right, that's the end of the second session. Uh, another two hours. Uh, I had a good start, I was mm. catching up on you. Um, and then you caught a couple of nice bream. <laughs> so, and I had a lot to catch up. I had, was it two pound? Three to your 12, no, 14, 14 six. six. So yeah. Yeah. it was always going to be an uphill struggle. And then you had a little bit of a late, throwy late run, a couple of nice bream. Yeah, I mean, you, got me, you got me worried. And I'm like, <laughs> I, can't, I can't get my rig down. I can't get my rig through all these little rud. And you've gone bang, bang, bang. I'm like, what's he got on the hook? How can he, can, how can he get it down? Yeah. And I can't. And all but, of a sudden, I had, I had three in three drops yeah, for yeah, about £10. Pound, yeah. And that was, oh, I needed those. But the tench, <laughs> what we thought, we thought was going to catch some tench. Yeah. Just to look, whether there's not a great deal of tension here, and we've been a little bit misled. Mm. Um, I, th I think there is a lot of tension I think here. maybe I that think, rain has yeah, just, yeah. yeah. It's been uh, raining constant for like six, seven days. And I yeah. think it's just chilled all and it's just upset. Because I did fail at one, you fail at one as well. I think I, think I have. It might yeah. have been a rudder or something. Yeah. But I've, I've definitely brushed against something yeah. big. Anyway, so. let me get my way first this time. Because yeah. you weighed third last time. Let me get my fish. Not enough. Plenty of pellets in there again, just like the last way in. <laughs> uh, take those two casters out. Can't have any extra ounces. Going down. 16, I'd have said 16, 8. 16, 16 7. 7. <laughs> 16, 7. Nice fish though, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, John, now you need £4.5 to win. It's going to be tight, I reckon. <laughs> Come I on, might have a hole in the net. Get your fish to have a look. <laughs> oh, £6. <laughs> no, £6. <laughs> Yeah. Big, aren't they? Yeah, it's 25, 30 pound there. Big fish. 21.8. Well, well done, John. Cheers, Mark. You naughty man, you. <laughs> That's uh, 18 pounds to 35. So you know I doubled me. Um, I had a terrible first half, the first two hours. And then I had a good start. Mm. Like I spoke earlier, that... that but it just, I just don't think the fish are feeding. Maybe there's a head of skimmers there, yeah. there must be in bream, but they're just not going down and no. you're keeping them. I foul at one three foot off the bottom yeah. and it's come yeah. off, and I'm convinced they're swimming off the bottom and every yeah. now and again they're going down. Because obviously the water's warmer. Yeah, up. yeah. Um, Especially all that rain going yeah. in. Yeah, give it, I think, if it had been just the whole lake in a normal temperature, mm. then we would have, I think we'd have caught a lot more fish. Like the guys that are trout fishing, it's been pretty poor for them. Um, and all we do is see trout jumping everywhere, mm -hmm. so they're trying to jump up in the warmer water, I think. We should have had a go on there, shouldn't we? Yeah, I think we'd have caught a lot more. <laughs> but no, it's been really enjoyable. Yeah. Um, lovely lake here, Ryson, really is. Um, it's a shame the tench haven't fed. No, but, um, no. Well, you had the, one the on nice, the first nice two hours, that was a lovely fish. Yeah, it was a nice fish. Beautiful fish. But just a little bit pestering by the little tiny perch and rud when you're laying your worm in. Um, That's been the, the most frustrating part of yeah. the day, isn't it? You've not been able to fish how you wanted to fish today. No. You've had to almost try and find a way of getting your rig down. I mean, whole yeah. dendrobinas yeah, that yeah, rud we're having. Yeah. Little like, tiny rud. And, and yet you sit there with corn or an expander and 
you'd either no. catch a roach or nothing. Yeah. I've not had a bream on a and, on a corner or an expander. And that second half, every time I cupped a ball and some chopworms and casters and big bits of chopworm, I, I could nick, I'd get a bite. Yeah. I'd nick one as if they yeah. they were up in the water, they'd Definitely. follow it down. Def- and the I, feed, I well, had the same. That's why I think the feed was a waste of time, really. Yeah. I know you had a couple on it earlier. Yeah. I had one that come off, but it just they didn't want to be down there. No, no. And two of mine that I've had on the feeder have been instant. Literally, yes, whilst yeah, I'm sinking yeah, the line, if they then it's, followed it's it on. Down. So I think they've just gone straight down yeah. and nailed it. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's not really been a feeder day, has it? So, no. uh, Brilliant. But yeah, it's been an interesting day. A nice yeah. place, and uh, it is. I think Maybe I'll come, come back, back here again. again. Yeah. <laughs> we have right. a rematch. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> right. Let's get packed up and uh, get this kit on the van. Yeah, definitely. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to like and share it and I'll see you on the bank again.